Oh, but I... That's not... Um... But Shifter... Shifter? Uh-oh. I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. We'll have so much fun together. Think of all the games we can play. Shifter? Oh, dear. What's wrong? Please leave me alone, Dizzy. No, Shifter, listen! Oh! Well, if you're gonna be like that, I don't want to share with you anyway. But I didn't ask to share with anyone. I was just looking forward to... Oh! Shifter's really upset. I'd better go and talk to him. Thanks, Wendy. Good luck. Who wants to share a garage anyway, Lofty? I mean, I'd rather be on my own, really, instead of having someone get in my way all the time. That's not what you were saying before, Dizzy. Before you were saying how much fun it would be. Well, it won't be now, will it? Because Shifter spoiled everything. I don't think that's fair, Dizzy. Thanks, Lofty. It's not that Shifter doesn't want to share with you. Huh? He's just upset because he thought he was getting his own garage. Oh! And it was me that got his hopes up in the first place, wasn't it? You're right, Lofty. This isn't Shifter's fault at all. Dizzy, did Shifter bring over that new box of bolts? I need it now. Yes, he did, Bob. But he's still carrying it around with him. Okay. I'll have to go and get it. Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter okay? Oh, I'm afraid not. He's hiding in the gravel store. He won't talk and he won't come out. We have to try and put this right somehow, and then we have to get the garages finished. Bob, could I try talking to Shifter again? I wasn't very kind to him just now, and I really would like to share with him. Thank you, Dizzy. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it really is. Bob and I should have explained everything to Shifter before we started. But I'm sure you're the best one to talk to him. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. Sorry I was angry, Shifter. Go away. Please, Dizzy. I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I didn't mean what I said about not wanting to share with you. I really do want to share. And I love the idea of one red wall and one that's green with orange around it. You mean, like I want for my garage? Yes. And I've got an awesome butterfly poster up. But there's room for another. So we could have a dashed lightning poster, too. Oh, oh dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Uh, Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow, and it's tied right. There. All secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Uh, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh! Oh, that's not good! Whoa! <gasps> the ship! And Captain Bentley! I haven't connected the engine yet! He's going to drift out to sea! Back up, Lofty! Quick as you can! Yes, Bob. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Off we go, Lofty! Follow that ship! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! I... I don't know how! I'll stop it, Bob! <laughs> oh, missed. I can't reach! What? I can't reach! What? Oh, double dear! We're heading for the open sea! What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up! It's time to find your sea legs! Jump in, Landlubber! It's all a dream, a terrible dream! Help me, Horatio! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! Oh, 
thank goodness for that. A rescue party. Ahoy there! There he is, she goes. Here I am, Bob. Ah. Hold on. Thank goodness you're here, Bob. <laughs> How do we drop the anchor? Like this. There. Let's hope it holds on the riverbed. Whoa! Bob, well done. Not bad for a landlubber. I'm sorry I interfered with your work. When it comes to building, you're the captain. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. I might keep the hat, though. Can we go back now? Whoa. The sooner, the better. Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, look! Wendy is here! She must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Oh, th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes, and there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm gonna go. I'm going now. This way, Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. Oh, Scoop, no. You saw the model T-Rex skeleton, that's all. Tutan just delivered it. Oh, oh it really scared me. Oh! Oh! What? I just had another brilliant idea. Put the red container down exactly where it was. Please. Oh. Oh! 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 What is happening? Uh, Lofty must be lifting the containers. Why on earth is he doing that? This is a brilliant idea. But I can't see how anyone will be able to do their shopping in that. Hang on! I've just had an even better idea! We'll build a skyscraper! Eh, what? Oh, dear. Uh, the door's still blocked. We're stuck. Stuck like sardines in a tin. So, it's a good thing we brought a tin opener. That's it! Awesome, Wendy! We can go out of the window. What do you mean? There is no window. Not yet there isn't. 
That's it, Lofty. That looks fantastic. Oh, that's unusual. What do you think, Tutor? I think it looks very dangerous. Bob's gonna love it. Where is Bob? And Wendy? <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Hello, you lot. Bob? Awesome. Better watch these sharp edges. Ah. Mm. Ah. What were all of you doing in well, there? Were you in there the whole time? Oh, never mind. Come and tell me what you think of my amazing pop-up shop design. wasn't supposed to happen, was it, Scoop? Oh, no. What a disaster. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to use my imagination as an architect. Oh, Scoop. Architects do use their imagination, but they also must design buildings that are safe. I did warn you. All right, all right. Well, there's no point in just standing around. We need to get moving if we're going to finish in time for these shops to open. Let's take a look at these plans. Oh, Bob, I just had another idea. Here we go. What if we follow the architect's plans exactly? But that's what I said. But then paint each container in the style of the shop. Like the shoe store could look like a giant shoe box. <gasps> oh, it's perfect, Leo. Bob's going to be so proud of you. Thanks, Dizzy. Whee! Hello? <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Leo. How's it going? Really well, thanks. Dizzy says the wall's perfect. Oh, great. I'll be back soon. OK, see you later. <laughs> Watch out, Bob! Huh? <laughs> and he scores again! My turn! My turn! <clears throat> <gasps> I see you haven't got very far with your assessment then, Mock. <gasps> Shifter, we're supposed to be cleaning up. Can I still get my certificate, Bob? Only if you do some actual cleaning up. Oh. Um... Come on, Muck. We can do it. Yeah, all right. Hi, Bob! You're early. Actually, we're late. Wendy will be home soon. But I'm nowhere near finished. Hmm. Great work, Leo. You'll definitely pass the assessment. But we do need to get finished on time. But I don't seem to be able to work quickly and accurately, Bob. Dizzy suggested working in time to slow music, but maybe it was too slow. But so beautiful! I don't think the music was helping, Dizzy. You just need to remember each step of the job, Leo. Watch. Lay the mortar. Place the brick. Tap it. Skim it. Check its level. Then lay the next brick. Lay the mortar. Place the brick. Tap, skim, level, get next brick. Okay. <laughs> Whatever works for you. No, Muck. Planks go there. Poles go on the other side. Oh, I thought you were going to help. No, that would be cheating. It's your test, Muck. Oh. Lay the mortar, place the brick. Tap, skim, level, that is it. Congratulations, Leo! You passed! Yay! Is there time to finish everything before Wendy gets home? Let's find out! Leo, it's a film prop. Huh? It's made of plastic. 
Light as a feather. I work with them all the time. Hey, Dash, Dash, Carl says it's time for your special scene. I'd better get ready. Come and watch, Leo. It's really exciting. Okay. Hello, Leo. I'm just setting up my remote control cameras. Now, uh, where did I put the remote control? Ah, this is all looking good. Oh, hang on. That looks like it's not bolted in fully. Safety instructor Leo to the rescue! That's better. I found the camera remote. I left it in my car by mistake. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Positions, please, everyone. Uh, Bob? Quiet on set, everybody. Uh, Bob? I just fixed. Shh. Tell me in a minute. Cameras on. Ready, Dash? Ready, Carl! Then, action! Zoom! Boom! Yay! <laughs> Lightning strikes twice! Uh... What happened, Bob? Why hasn't the set collapsed? Uh, don't worry, Carl. We just need to find the problem and fix it. Carl? Hmm. Bob, you don't have to fix anything. Look, you just have to unfix what I did. I saw that this rod wasn't safe, so I reset it to be like this one. Someone press a button! Oh, Leo, I should have told you what we were doing. Anyhow, at least the rod's back where it should be, halfway across. Maybe there's a problem with the remote box. Carl, no! Whoa! Oh, no! Leo, move! Whoa! 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 No. can power up. Let's go, go, go! It's working, Bob! <laughs> the boat's ready for lifting, Bob! Okay, here goes. Hmm, that's not right. Maybe I need to push it this way. Oh! Oops. Okay, uh-oh. What? Look out, Scoop! Whoa! It's chasing me! I've got it! I think. Oops! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh, yeah. Why is this going the wrong way? What are you doing, Bob? I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Oops! Oh, I'm getting out of here! No! Stay still, Scoop! Huh? Uh oh! Oh dear! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! I'm flying! <gasps> oh no! Whoa! Get you down. Whoa! 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 Oh no! Don't drop him, Bob! I'm trying not to, Luffy! Ah! Bob! Get me down! <gasps> oh! Oh! Help me! Whoa! Oh no! Whoa! I'm falling! It's alright, Scoop! Me. Stay calm! I don't want to go in the water, Bob! Help! Ah, let me try! I must have got the wires mixed up somehow, but I think I know what to do. Oh, Hurry, Leo! I feel it's working backwards, so if I want to move the hoist left, I need to move the joystick right, like this. Whoa! Yes! Oh, no! Whoa! Too fast! Oh, 
Are you all right, Scoop? I never want to go flying ever again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scoop. I thought I knew enough to wire up the receiver. Even I need to double check my work, Leo. If you're not sure of something, you should always ask. I know, Bob. I should have got you to check the wiring before the test. Now look, I've ruined everything for my dad. Oh, no. Well, we still have just enough time before Curtis returns. We can set the boat hoist upright, fix stronger bolts, and rewire the receiver. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! God, I still feel sick. Lofty, you should see all the cool stuff Buck and I collected. Really? Oh, yeah. We were going to take it to the recycle yard, but then I had this great idea to start a collection of stuff. <gasps> That's awesome. Mug's looking after it. Want to come and see? Oh, OK. Lofty. Uh oh I need you to help me lift these two mast sections together, please. Oh, OK. Coming, Bob. It later, Scoop. Huh? Oh, wow! Some old railings and a wooden ball! Amazing! Wait until Mug sees this! <laughs> uh, are you sure Bob said this was going to the recycling yard, Scoop? Um, Bob was busy. But anyway, I'm going to collect loads more stuff. <laughs> so am I! Okay, great. Now we just need to fix the crow's nest back on, and we're done. Hang on. There's only half of it here. Where's the other half gone? Uh, it was here earlier when I was talking to Scoop about how he's been collecting things. Scoop? Collecting things? Oh, no. You don't think he could have taken it, do you, Lofty? Uh, well, uh, I suppose, um... Hello, Mr. Bentley. Oh, hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'll be along soon to see that lovely ship all fixed up. Uh, okay. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Bentley. Okay, we really do need to find Scoop. And fast. Oh, where can he be? Bob, we can't find Scoop anywhere, Bob. Okay, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Muck! Oh, hello, Bob. Muck, do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. Oh, I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Slowly. Thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? No, I can still see it! What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. Hmm, but I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here? No, 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 no. Further away. Okay, as long as you're sure. Oh, no, no. Mm. No, no. Uh, Maybe over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. No, no. Closer. Further away. Uh, closer. No. Nearly there. 
Oh no! It's Philip! I don't want him to think I'm stinky! Don't worry, Mom! <gasps> Slow down, Mom! <laughs> What on earth is going on? I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went the really long way around so people couldn't smell me. And then uh, I got late and in a real rush, and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Muck. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Muck. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? Yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well. No turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. Uh, what's the matter with Mr. Bentley? Mayor Madison didn't want his vegetables to ruin the look of her flower garden. It's a shame vegetables don't have flowers on them. Then everyone would be happy. Wait a minute. You might have something there, Muck. Really? Yes. Mr. Bentley, mm -hmm. don't some vegetables have nice flowers on them? Oh, yes. Lots. Runner beans, tomatoes, even turnips. Oh, uh, uh, look, that one's a pepper. In that case, you can have a vegetable garden and a flower garden at the same time. Oh. Oh, no, not again. Sorry, Bob. Oh, bad luck, Bob. I'll have extra onions, ketchup, and mustard on my hot dog, please. <laughs> oh, go and get the floor panels, please. Sorry, Bob. Ah, <sighs> oh, it looks like Bob's caught up with us, Muck. Can you go and get me the door while I finish the serving counter? Sure thing, Wendy! There we go. Ah, our counter is finished. We've caught up with them, Bob! We might even beat them! Uh, not that it matters at all. Next thing to do is put on the door. I've got the doors right here, Bob. There you go. Uh, we only need one door scoop, but we've got two. Huh? Oh. You must have picked up Wendy's door as well by mistake. Uh. Oh, dear. Oh, it'll really slow them down if they don't have it. Hmm. Can you take it over to her then, please? Oh. OK, Bob. Where's the door? Uh, I better tell Bob. Hi, Wendy. I've got your door. Thanks, Scoop. That's very helpful. Have you joined our team? Huh? Oh, no. It's just that I picked up your door by mistake. Hi, Bob. I can't find the door for a hot dog stand. Do you know where it is? Yes, Muck. Scoop's got your door. He's taking it to Wendy now. Thanks, Bob. Eh? Uh, why does Scoop have our door? He really wants us to be the first to finish our stand. <sighs> oh, so you mean he hid our door. But that's not fair! And he got muddled up and brought me your door by mistake. <sighs> Mark? That's our door, Scoop. It's not nice to hide other people's things. I didn't hide it, Mark. Yes, you did. You took our door because you want to win the race. Bob told me. No, that's not true. Come with me and Bob can tell you what really happened. Don't go away with our door again. It's not fair. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Really, I didn't. Here, have it. Whoa! <gasps> Oops. I'll catch it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, Scoop! Oh. I'll have to rebuild this whole wall, Bob. And you'll need a couple of brand new wood panels. These two are broken. And finally, golden rule number 17. I didn't know there were going to be so many golden rules, Scoop. I'm not sure I can remember them all. And this rule is the most important one of all. It's... Scoop, huh? could you go back to the yard and get the basketball hoops? Sure thing, Wendy. I'll tell you when I get back. What? Rolly, you can start rolling the asphalt now. Okay. 
Yes, we'll do, Wendy. The first thing we did to build the hard court was dig, no, rake, no. Uh, oh no, I've forgotten. Hiya, Billy. Scoop, please tell me your final golden rule. Oh, yes. So, the final golden rule. This is very important. This is the rule you must remember. Here it is. Never, ever, ever. Oh, look, there's Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Scoop. Never, ever, ever what? Oh, no, Betsy must be here with the rockets already. But I really need to practice my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring City Sports Field. My name is... Oh, no. I'm in such a muddle. And I don't know the final golden rule. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh. No. The hoops. Now what have I done? Rolly, what's going on? I've crashed into the dugout, and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Rolly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Rolly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets, and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech, too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking. Rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. One more push-up beam to go. <sighs> Me too. Finished. <sighs> well done, Wendy. Now we need to mix up the cement. Don't tell me, Bob. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> you got it. It's no good, Dizzy. I'm not getting anywhere with my bucket stand. Hmm. When Safi does handstands, she usually does them against a tree, and she takes a run up to it. That's it! You're a genius, Dizzy! Huh? I can do my bucket stand against a tree and do a great big drive up! There's a tree! Um, Scoop! No! Hey! When I say. Don't worry, Dizzy! Spring City's first ever bucket stand! What happened here, Scoop? Um, well, I was trying to do something I'd never done before. Well, you've definitely made a mess like this before. Uh, these parallel bars look a bit bent. A little bit more than bent. And we need those to finish the exercise trail. And it's all my fault. <gasps> I know! If I race to the yard and pick up some new bars, Maybe we can still finish on time. Well, you won't have long. Sky will be back soon. You have to be really fast, Scoop. That's it! If I can get to the yard and back that quickly, that really will be something I've never done before. Yes, all right. You can go fast. <gasps> but carefully, Scoop. Yes! Faster than I've ever been before! Faster than I've ever been before! 
Okay, team. We've still got lots of parts that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are okay. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. The, the old-fashioned old way. way. Oh, no. So, let's build what we can as fast as we can. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. accidentally hit the power box in the maintenance garage, and now all the garage doors have closed and Scoop and Muck are trapped. Trapped? And now I've broken the scaffold tower, so you're stuck on the roof, too. I can reach you. <gasps> it's too dangerous with that bit of scaffold jammed on your hook, Lofty. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I did to make such a mess. Maybe you were working a little too fast without taking enough care, Shifter. Well, we need to think fast about how to get down from up here. We could use a ladder. Hmm, but those are all stuck in the garages, too. Could we build a ladder? Or a staircase? Or, or something? That's not a bad idea, Shifter. Perhaps you could use some of those empty pallets you cleared away. Yes, I can do that. But I'll need help. I can't help you, Shifter. Oh, no. Oh, but I know someone who can. <laughs> tread! Tread! It's an emergency! I need your help to move the pallets back to the yard again. Come on! Uh, I'd love to, Shifter. I really would. But there's one problem. I'm surrounded. Oh, yes, I see. Sorry. <laughs> Here. Okay, young shifter, here I am. Start loading me up. That's the idea, shifter. Not so fast, shifter. Take it easy. Okay, Tread. Now I'll move yours. It's working! Back in a sec, Bob. We'll have you down in no time. That's it, Bob. I've used all of the pallets. Thanks, Shifter. Let's go, Wendy. Oh, do be careful, both of you. We're almost there, but we need two more steps to get down. Um, yes, I know what to do. Well done, Shifter. Thanks, Tread. Yay! Now let's get Scoop and Muck out. Huh? Wendy, can you let me out, please? That's why I'm here, Scoop. But first, I need to turn off the electricity to the doors and take a look. Now get it all nice and even and no gravel spilled over the sides. Yes! Amazing Scoop does it again! Awesome! Ooh, this is a nice path, Scoop. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, it's just what I do, you know. Do you think Dash will notice how good it is? You can show him yourself! Dash is here! Yep, just over... Ah! He is! Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning! Bob the Builder! The man who can! Hi, Dash. Wow! This is gonna be some walkway. I'll be back shortly to see you put up my nameplate, but I have to see Sky first. Don't finish before I get back, will you? Oh, don't worry, Dash. We'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dash, lightning. Oh, no. What? Dash is talking to Stretch. And? I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Dash, I can't believe I'm talking to you. The honor is all mine, Stretch. Zoom. Boom. Dash Lightning loves his fans. My friend Scoop over there? He's your biggest fan. He's looking at me. I have to do something amazing. Mm. He's an amazing digger. You want to see his work? I really do, Stretch. But later. 
Right now, I have to zoom a boom zoom. Love your word, guys! Oh, he's coming this way! I have to do something amazing! Like, like... Yes! I'll lift all that lumber! Hurry, Scoop, hurry! Oh, no, Dash is going! Oh, amazing, Scoop! Oh. I'm really stuck. Okay, where's the lumber for the walkways, Wendy? It should be over here. Hmm, that's odd. There's some here, but not nearly enough. What? Hold on, Bob. There's a piece over there. Here's another, and another, and another. Oh, no. What are you doing down there, Scoop? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I just, um... I'm a little, um... Stuck. <sighs> Stretch, can you come over here, please? We need you. <gasps> there you go, Mr. Bentley. Thanks, Muck. <gasps> oh, and remember to pick me up on your way back, won't you, chauffeur? Um, uh, of course. Yes. Back soon. It's me again! Just taking the materials for the skyscraper! Muck, wait! You got the wrong stop! Again! Muck just took the materials for Safi's playhouse instead of the ones for the skyscraper station. Hmm, I think I better call Bob. These panels are the wrong color, Bob. We're supposed to be building the red stand here. Oh dear. Muck must have made a mistake. Hi, Leo. Bob, there's been a problem with the materials. I know. We've got the green panels at the stadium station instead of the red ones. Yeah, and that's not all. When you get to the next station, you'll have the materials for Safi's Playhouse instead of the stand. OK, thanks, Leo. I think we'd better go and find Muck and find out what's going on. Now I can go be Mr. Bentley's chauffeur again. Muck, there you are. Oh, hello, Bob. What's going on, Muck? All the materials are in the wrong places. Um, really? Are you sure? Yes, the skyscraper materials are at the stadium station, and these are the materials for Safi's Playhouse. Oh, no. I should never have said I'd be Mr. Bentley's chauffeur. You said what? I'm sorry, Bob. Mr. Bentley asked me to help him get to his appointments. I thought I could do both jobs at once. It is really hard trying to do two jobs at the same time, Muck. That's why I got in a muddle. Maybe if I do one job at a time, I can still get it all done. Well, yes. That does seem like a good plan. Hmm. If I bring the green materials back here, then take Safi's Playhouse back to the yard, then I can pick up the red materials for the stadium station. And then I'll pick up Mr. Bentley. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. A disaster. We open soon and this is all still a terrible mess. Hmm. Leo and Scoop are supposed to be clearing all this. 
I wonder where they've got to. Anyway, let's get the elevator working. Come and get your lovely ice cream. It comes in a cone and tastes like a cream. Come and get your lovely ice cream. It comes in a cone and tastes like a cream. Huh? Ice cream! Today it's a cooling treat. Hi, guys. A double scoop for me, please. Coming right up. Huh? Oh. It's Bob. <laughs> One sec. Bob? We haven't done our job. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello? Ah, Leo. Where have you and Scoop got you? <gasps> uh, ooh, uh, sorry, Bob. Uh, we, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, we're on our way. Bye. Where are you? Uh-oh. Quick, Scoop. Sorry, everyone. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Good luck, delicious. Oh. Really sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Bob. Where have you been? We didn't want all Chef Tatty's lovely ice cream to go to waste. So we went around the city giving it away. You gave it away? Uh-oh. Yes, and um, we got so excited we forgot all about getting our job done. You gave it away? Well, okay, you're back now, and I'm sure if we work really hard, we can still get all the repairs. Oh, no. Huh? If everyone in Spring City has had an ice cream already, who's going to want to come to my extravaganza? Oh, oh no! We didn't think of that. Oh. Hey, Scoop! Huh? Have you got any more of that ice cream? <gasps> and we'd like some too, please. Huh? Your song made us really want some ice cream, Scoop. A and I'd like to try another flavor. We've been telling everyone about it. Ice cream! Let's get some ice cream. ice cream! Well, it looks like you've got lots of customers for your big extravaganza after all, Chef Taddy. Oh, it's going to be the biggest ice cream extravaganza Spring City has ever seen. We just need to get the restaurant open. Good point, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yes! Now we have to move it. I'll come forward, you back up, okay? Okay. Take it slowly, Scoop. Ready? Go! Yay! Look! We're moving it! Well done, you two! Yes, you work together really well there because you listen to each other. <sighs> I bet Shifter could lift that stone up really easily. I don't think so, Scoop. It's very heavy. Where is Shifter? He seems to have disappeared. Huh? Hmm. It's not like Shifter to go off on his own. He doesn't know his way around Spring City. We'd better go and find him. Wendy, Stretch, would you please stay here in case he comes back? Okay, Bob. Will do. The rest of us will search the city. Okay, team. Can we find him? Yes, we can! Everywhere. Where else can he be? Help! Oh, help me, someone! Can anyone hear me? Hold on. Did you hear that? Hello? Huh? Shifter here. I'm stuck. <gasps> He's behind that hill. Quick, let's can go! Me? Help me! Hey! Please help! We're here, Shifter! Shifter, what happened? Are you trying to be a digger or something? It's not Scoop, I'm really stuck. Can you help me get the right way up? Why don't you pull your forks out? Because I can only move them up and down. And when I do that, this happens. Hey, cool! 
Do that again. No, Scoop, please. I, I want to get the right way up. How about if I have a go at pulling you out with my grabber? Oh, thank you, Lofty. Oh! 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 I'll be very careful. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! No, no, no! Stop! It isn't working, Lofty! It isn't working! Ooh, uh, yellow! Yellow, eh? Um... Yellow, yellow. Oh, oh, I know. Is it me? <gasps> yes. Oh, your turn. Okay. I spy with my <laughs> little eye something the color of... Oh, red. Yay! Oh. Guys, where are the tiles? What tiles? Are you okay, Tread? Yep, sorry. I've just got a lot to do. Well, if you need some help. No, no, no thanks. I'll ask Leo. All right, then. Hi, Leo. Hi, Tread. Bob needs another box of tiles. He's running out. Ah, okay, let's see. Ah, okay. Um... Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Could you hurry up, please? I'm a bit, uh... <laughs> Is it over there? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, come on, come on, come on! There you All go! Right, thanks, Leo. Uh, no worries. Huh? Whoa. Okay. Oh, not the phone again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it! Hi, Chef Taddy. Oh? Is everything okay? I'm not sure, Bob. Any idea where Trev is? Yeah, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can, or my fish could go bad and be ruined? I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, okay, great, Bob. Bye, I gotta roll. No, wait, Trev, come back. Oh. Chef Taddy's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going bad. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. Oh. Ah, Tread, there you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Teddy. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm, it doesn't smell bad. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> right now! Oh, wait for me! Look for animals. Ooh, animals. Where should I look? Hmm. Then later, I'll sing a cat song. Scoo, wait! I thought we were looking for animals. Huh? Muck? I said hi. I said hey. Let's go camping for the day. <laughs> Scoo, are you sure you know how to go camping? That's the floorboards finished. The trail signs are finished, too. Great. Time to finish the roof. Lofty, are the logs ready? Yes, all ready, Bob. Scoop knocked the pile over, and it's taken ages to build it back again. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, bad luck, Lofty. Never mind. Mm. <gasps> hey, Muck! What do you think? Isn't this the perfect spot for camping? We're right in the middle of the woods here. Oh. That sounds like it's a long way from Bob. Yeah, but it's way better for exploring. I don't think I like it, Scoop. But, Mark, what about camping? I don't like it. Let's go back and finish the path. Of course we can go back. No problem. Follow me. Uh... I mean, follow me this way. Uh... Hmm... What's wrong, Scoop? You do know the way back, don't you? Um, um, well, uh, um, 
uh, no. <gasps> that means we're lost! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm brilliant at outdoor skills. Let me think. Um, when you're lost, you, um... You don't know what to do, do you? Yes, I do. Um, when, when you're lost, you, uh, you... Uh, yes! Oh, you send out an S.O.S. Like this. <gasps> huh? What's that? It sounds like Scoop sending an S.O.S. But I thought he was working on the path with Muck. Scoop and Muck aren't here. Right. Lofty, come on. Let's go and find him. Yes, Bob. It's coming from over there. Righto. <laughs> now we just have to wait. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, I'll try this. Mm. What do you think, Bob? Tattylicious. Uh, hey. <laughs> well, Scoop, what do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. Hmm. I can't believe Sildan pulled a rabbit out of his hand. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This is magic. Behold! The color-changing balls of mystery. Green, red, blue, and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigger, Alakazala. Actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh yes. It's awesome. Do it again, Scoop. Yeah, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um. Okay then. Africa digger. I like him. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa. Oh, Stop. No. Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. What have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can build it in time. So, team, let's get to work. here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes. Okay. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, though, okay? 
It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried! Down this hill, the avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread. I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh, Wendy, I was so lucky. The avalanche missed me, and it would have missed Tread, too, if I hadn't made him stay put to watch me do a slide. It was an accident, Scoop. You mustn't blame yourself. What matters now is that we all work together quickly and calmly to rescue Tread. I'll do anything I can to help. Yes, I know you will, Scoop. Is there a problem, Stretch? Can't you dig Tread out? Yeah, I can dig him out easily enough, but I can't actually get him back out onto the road. Stretch can clear away the snow, but without snow chains, Tread's wheels will just spin when he tries to drive out. Guys! It's really cold in here. Mm. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere today. There must be some way to get him out. Oh, Bob, I know, I know. Tread's got a cable. Can't I use that to pull him out? Yes, that's a good idea, Scoop. But you can't go in the snow because you haven't got snow chains either, remember? Oh, yeah. Ah, but Tread's not that far from the car park, is he? Actually, you're right. If we finish that path across there, you can get quite close to Tread and still be on a hard surface. That's good thinking, Scoop. Yes, it is. It's a great idea. 